Why am I a creator? Because um, I love storytelling. If you love storytelling and, 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 and you feel like you get micromanaged in the other aspects of your storytelling in the rest of your life, then this is a very, you know, it's, it's nice to go solo, kind of. Oh, man. I, I honestly couldn't think, I could not think of anything else I wanted to do. That's the only thing I want to do, and uh, I don't want to do anything else. I'm not qualified to do anything else. I don't know how to do math. I am a creator because I look at other creators and I go, I can do that! <laughs> so you're a creator because you're rebelling against structures of knowledge and learning. You need to learn things your own way. In my head, you're just constantly creating stories. You're, you know, a storyteller. If you don't get that out, you just become the weirdo who's like thinking this stuff too much. And My favorite part of working on Mouse Guard is being able to just tell my own story. It's a love letter to everything that I grew up enjoying, like old Dick Tracy comic strips. And I also think too, like right now, it's a good time to be a creator. I mean, so much of the barriers that used to be in your way in like the 90s of like you had to, you know, printing your own book was impossible because it was so expensive. I mean, a full color book, like you look at those Ninja Turtle books, they were black and white. They did that because they could only afford that. Now you can put stuff up on the internet. You can put it you can get listed in app stores and comic apps and you know it's like if you're an artist uh keep drawing every day and if you're a writer write every day just keep doing what you're doing don't don't give up no matter what anyone says you have to keep going you have to execute you have to do what you're going to say what you're going to do and you have to do what you're going to say and you cannot there's no deviation there's no i'm going to do it tomorrow there's no i'm going to watch tv there's no anything so you have to keep going it's going to take time for that vision that you have in your head to match what you see on paper.